everyone, Derek Villamer here from Coldwell Banker Realty. I recently attended a seminar on the light rail transit system or LRT for Waterloo Region and I thought I would bring you eight or nine interesting facts about the LRT that might uh, help you along. Something you may have not heard or read about so far. So I thought I'd just bring some of those things to your attention. First of all, uh, good news is that the LRT right now is about 85% complete as of uh, last week of November, early December 2016. They're expected to have the uh, completion of about 90% by the end of 2016. So that's really great progress. Uh, I know that everybody's starting to get around a little bit better in uh, traveling in their vehicles and are really happy to see a lot of those routes uh, open up. Another interesting fact is that uh, Stage 1, which runs from Fairview Park Mall to Conestoga Mall, is about 19 kilometers long. It's also uh, 19 stops. How long does it take to get from Conestoga Mall to Fairview Park Mall? We're looking at about 45 minutes. How does that compare to taking a bus from Conestoga Mall to uh, Fairview Park Mall? According uh, to the Grand River Transit, about 55 minutes. So it's gonna knock about 10 minutes off the total time. Uh, there is no public Wi-Fi on the train. However, there are uh, bicycle racks for your bicycles on the LRT, so that's a bonus. Uh, where can I park my vehicle near one of the main stations? Like, can I park my car and go? And so we've been told that there's going to be park and ride parking available at the corner of Fairway and Wilson, and also at Northfield and Parkside. So that's very good news. Um, how much is the LRT construction can, going to cost on my taxes? So the news on that is that we're going to see an increase per person in Waterloo Region of about $11. So that's not so bad for the kind of infrastructure and service that uh, they're planning to offer us. Uh, how much will the fare be to ride the LRT? Some people thought it was going to be a lot more money than taking a bus turns out that it's going to be the same. Same cost as GRT Transit taking the bus. They're also going to offer a uh, transfer service that uh, you can do a 90 minute uh, fare transfer to easily move between the two services. And the big question is, how much is the LRT going to affect my property value? Everybody that's involved in real estate wants to kind of know, where's that going to uh, affect my property? Is it going to increase my property value? Is it going to increase it neg um, uh, affect it negatively? And the long and the short of it is that there's been several studies done in different cities, and the, some uh, figures range from 4% to about 25 percent as high as 30 percent on the high side and uh, the best optimum placement for uh, your home is to be 400 to 800 meters from an LRT uh, stop and so that's about one or two blocks there's maybe an expectation or maybe a reasonable expectation that to be within that distance uh, your property might see an increase of maybe 10%. So uh, we don't really know. We're just going to have to wait and see. But we do know that uh, being fairly close to the LRT uh, stations in Kitchener-Waterloo will likely affect property values in a positive way. So I hope you found this informative and not too long. And uh, you take care. Have yourself a great day. Thanks for tuning in. Bye for now.